You're watching Three Pound Fishing, sponsored by these great companies. So what we're doing today is we're hanging around the docks still. Um, we get 70 degree water temperatures in the docks and 63 everywhere else. The reason why that's happening is because the, the warmer water is being blown in here from the power plant. And what I can tell you is that the fish in the marinas are way more active than the fish elsewhere. I've been talking to a lot of people and there's been a lot of struggling where all the, a lot of the bait fish are at. That's where a lot of our crappie are at right now and they're very active and you don't have to go far. <laughs> you don't have to go far, but the temperature is literally about six degrees difference. Today I'm just fishing with that traditional float setup again with a bobber stopper, cigar float, a couple split shots and right now I've got a number four hook on them. I've been kind of going back and forth between a number four and a number two. I struggle with the number two because I feel like it doesn't allow that crappie to do, or I'm sorry, it doesn't allow that minnow to do what it needs to do, which is move around and act like a minnow. I think it drags it down. I think the number four is ideal, but since I've been doing the trails and it seems like we get accustomed to a number two, I'm even that a rural as well. Ooh, that's a good fish. Please be a crocker. Switching to a number two hook. That was a big fish. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. And this is what we were looking at on this particular morning. We're live scoping, we're scanning around, and we're just looking for movement. So immediately I started seeing movement roughly around the four or three foot. So I'm, I'm scanning up against that riprap. But one thing that kept coming in and out of the focus on the live scope was fish around the eight to seven foot. So as you watch this episode, what you're going to see me is I'm fishing, you know, closer to the riprap, that type of thing, but then I gradually start moving out roughly 30, 40 foot, 30 or 40 yards away from the docks so that I can fish this eight foot of water, which as you can even see here on this live scope, you're seeing fish move around that area. It's a hog. Fish and structure. All we're doing today is about four posts sticking up there. and She's got eggs. Good fish. So this is what I was looking at. Check out these fish moving around these four posts. And you can actually see six there, but I can only see four out there on the lake itself. But I can tell you, as you can see, these fish are constantly moving around these four posts. And that's what I saw on live scope, and that's what I was going to be fishing. 
So one of the reasons why I have my live scope set up actually pointing forward is that you can see fish below you and just slightly behind you. And here you can clearly see that a school of crappie have moved in right below me. But I kept seeing this throughout the entire morning. And so eventually I do move out because I'm saying, man, there's just a lot of fish around the eight foot mark. And eventually in this video, you'll see that we do move out to capture those fish. This is typically, can't be a crappie. If it is, we got a three pounder right here. I'm a big believer in spot lock. I really, I really am. And everybody knows that. You can even check the Ultrex video and anytime I've talked about spot lock. But the disadvantage is that your boat has to point into the wind and it still moves around and everybody that has spot lock knows that there's a variance of maybe five foot that it kind of auto corrects itself and if you're trying to fish something close to structure that's difficult because sometimes you run into it power poles nope you plant them you ain't going anywhere and that's makes this way convenient What I've done is I've moved away from the docks, moved out about 30 yards and found some structure. And it seems like there's a lot of fish here. Uh, one minute the curly jig is working and the next minute the minnow is working. So the one thing I didn't talk about there was again, the reason why I went out 30 feet deeper was because of images like this on live scope. I mean, I continued to see this around the docks and it just kept telling me I need to back off a little bit and see what happened. I happened to run into some structure which was very nice and I think the combination of those things obviously led to some good size fit. changing up tactics and we've gone to a curly tail that's a great fish that's a 12 inch fish curly tail right there tricolor I'm actually double rigged with this guy right here <laughs> 